Andrew is an international expert, motivational speaker, a successful entrepreneur, as well as a sales training expert. Andrew, welcome to the interview. Thanks very much, Dion. Lovely to be here. It's always a pleasure to talk to guys like you. Um, you know, being an expert, motivational speaker, the trainer, the author, the motivator. For those of our viewers that don't know you, um, just tell, tell us a little bit about yourself, if you don't mind. Thanks, Dion. Uh, it, it, it's a long story. I think we all have a long one, but I'm, I'm going to try and give you the abridged version. I've been an entrepreneur my whole life, involved in a number of different businesses. But the part of business that excited me the most was sort of between 1995 and 2002, when I was buying and selling struggling businesses. And during that time, using a, a tool and a technique that I developed, uh, helping people to improve sales, look at costs, etc., I was able to fix those businesses, bring them back to profit and sell them off. And then I don't know whether it was fortunately or unfortunately, but in 2002, I managed to acquire a cash cow. It was a, a tool producing business, a vice manufacturing business. And um, it uh, kind of got me trapped in an economic uh, place where it was just making too much money. And I got lazy and I sat back on my laurels and <clears throat> Got sort of got stuck in the in the rut of not really enjoying what I was doing every day, and then in about 2005, early 2006, decided that I needed to sort of revive things and looked at what I enjoyed most about buying and selling those businesses, and it was obviously the part that went with fixing, working, changing. But the part I didn't enjoy was the bit where I was involved in the day-to-day -day running of the business, mm. the concerns mm. around cash flow, the staffing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So what I realized was, was the way forward was to just get involved in a consulting, consultative uh, training uh, sort of operation where I could actually go into businesses, do the exciting stuff, yet not have to have all the, all the, the mm. stresses and strains related to, to actually running um, the businesses myself. And hence, that's where I'm at today, where September last year, I actually finally after 10 years, which was a very long haul, I actually finally yeah. sold that business as well. And, um, and now 100%, uh, I do four things. I, I travel, I read, I research, and I teach, and that's it. Uh, I, I try to do nothing else in my life. And it's, uh, it's been a, a long road. It's, it's basically, I've taken a lot of the tools and things that, I've, um, that I teach, and I've applied them in my life, and mm. I've basically got myself into a wonderful place where I, um, I live the life I love. Mm. So you yourself obviously then are very much from an entrepreneurial background. Well, Dion, I've been in all sorts of businesses. I've been in tourism. I've had a transport business. I've had a conference center, engineering business, manufacturing business, property development business, uh, rental business. I mean, it go, the list goes on and on and on. I've, I've been in, you, you name it, I've been in that industry. And yeah. uh, yeah, um, love it and, and, and enjoy the challenge. You know? And I think that's the one thing that, that any entrepreneur needs to realize out there is, is running a business, no matter what it is, management, leadership, uh, sales is all, you're still dealing with people. So essentially nothing really changes. Yeah, yeah. Now, as a speaker, what would you say is your number one goal you know, w when you speak? I, I think the, I know it's a loaded the, question. <laughs> no, it's not a loaded question at all. It, it, it's actually a very, a very clear question. I want to obviously inspire, energize, and raise people's moods because very often um, people phone and they go, um, "I have a demotivated team," and and you think, "Well, okay, well, hang on a second. Yeah, they're demotivated, but what's the reason they're demotivated?" And Got and very you. often, once we dig a little bit deeper, we actually find that underlying challenge, the underlying reason, and going ahead and doing the talk is really just the catalyst which is unlocking the challenge. Yes. And so I go in there, my, my objective is basically to, to uplift, inspire, energize, and just get people to just see their own value because mm. ultimately we're all champions at, at shooting ourselves down in flames. I mean, I call them ants, automatic negative thoughts. These mm. things shoot through our minds. I, I think we've all got a doctorate in being able to shoot ourselves down. Every time mm. we have a challenge, every time we have a, an issue, Instead of asking the better quality question like, what can I learn from the challenge? Yeah. We end up asking a silly question like, why am I such a fool? And guess 
what? Your brain's going to give you an answer. It's going to say you're, you're, you're a lazy whatever. You mm. understand? So it, it's just about the quality of question. So my role when I go into any environment where I try and motivate people is just to help them to unlock that belief in themselves. Because once we start to believe, believe in ourselves and we start to believe in the possibility that's out there, mm. the doors just open up and it mm. just re-energizes people and gets them fired up and inspired to just go out and do what they need to do. Yeah, so essentially also, you know, what I hear you say is to a certain extent, you, you deal with that, you know, that little voice we all have inside and just to get that voice uh, or to make it a positive voice. You know, I've actually developed a product. I call it my positive affirmation CD, okay. which you listen to once a day, seven minutes in the morning. And what it does is it just repeats a whole lot of stuff. Like I'm a genius and I use my wisdom daily. Mm. Um, each day in every way, I'm better and better. And what that does is it just starts to program your brain to believe what you really knew when you were a kid. What's happened is, is over time, society's programmed us to start believing that we can't. Mm. Between the age of birth and 17, we hear, we hear the word no 30 times more than the word yes. So we start to become a no generation. We, we start to believe we can't. Mm. And so what I say is, is just reprogram yourself. It's never too late to have that wonderful childhood. So just go back to that stage, that little, that little toddler, that little two-year-old, that how many times do you think a kid gets up when it's trying to walk? Mm, mm. It, it falls down, it scratches its knee, it's, it bangs its head, it cuts its head open, but it doesn't give up. That kid keeps trying and trying yeah. and trying, never gives up, eventually learns to walk. Now, walking is one of the most complicated things you can imagine to learn, yet we all learn how to do it. But the reality is, is as time goes on, that determination, that perseverance, that patience mm. disappears and society programs it out of us. So now what I'm saying is, is just let's reprogram it. I'm not asking you to be anything you aren't. I'm asking you to become what you were. So mm. let's just go back, reprogram ourselves and just get that belief back again. Because once you start believing you stop by achieving and and that's the little catalyst that's the first place we need to start with anything is just to unlock that belief